here's another common forest fern we can have a look at. So um, you can see again the, the overall shape is kind of broadly triangular, similar to some of the other ferns we just looked at in the previous video. But there's a few things that are unique to this particular fern. And you can notice at the bottom here, the pinnae are not the same length. So the one on the top is much smaller and the one on the bottom is much bigger and longer. So that's sort of the most distinctive trait about this particular fern, uh, the spiny wood fern. It also has quite a bit of um, kind of hair or sort of a texture to the uh, stipe or the stalk of the fern. And yeah, this one's got little um, spores developing too. They kind of look like little uh, half moon shapes. There we go. They're now in focus. So they have a indusium covering the bottom part of them and then the little spores are around the top part there. So um, yeah, Dryopteris expansa, pretty common forest fern. I used to get it confused with um, lady fern sometimes. And actually there's a lady fern right behind it here, which here you can see again that more broadly diamond shape. So narrow, wide, narrow. And the um, you can see how the bottom pinnae little leaflets are, are always the same size across from each other. There isn't one that's bigger and one that's smaller. And the stalk doesn't have as much of that kind of hairy or textured look to it. So that's a much smaller lady fern. Sometimes you see them very uh, large, up to about a meter or maybe a bit more tall. And same with the uh, spiny wood ferns. They can get bigger than this as well. But yeah, here we go. A fern side by side.